Welcome back to our channel, Space Enthusiasts. Today we're diving into the exciting world of SpaceX and its ambitious plans to travel to Mars. Leading the charge is none other than the innovative and visionary CEO Elon Musk. But what's the secret behind SpaceX's plans for interplanetary travel? It's all about the revolutionary new spacecraft and rocket engine known as the Raptor. Get ready to blast off into the future of space exploration as we explore the groundbreaking technology behind SpaceX's quest to reach the Red Planet. Let's get rolling! What is Raptor Engine? SpaceX's new spacecraft and rocket engine, the Starship and Super Heavy Rocket respectively, are set to revolutionize space travel by taking up to 100 people into space and potentially even to the Moon and Mars. And at the heart of these groundbreaking vehicles is the Raptor engine, which has been in development for almost a decade. What makes this engine so unique is its use of liquid oxygen and methane, a combination that is rarely seen in the rocket industry. But it's not just the fuel that sets Raptor apart. It also boasts an innovative design that promises to give SpaceX an edge in exploring our solar system. With the first flight-ready version of Raptor already tested in 2019, SpaceX is one step closer to achieving its vision of making interplanetary travel a reality. There is no other rocket engine capable of producing as much energy out of liquid methane and liquid oxygen as the Raptor engine, says Tim Dodd, an industry expert who runs the popular Everyday Astronaut YouTube channel. And making it more reusable with little to no refurbishment is the idea. That's going to help their business case if they can just fly over and over. When it comes to the development of SpaceX's Raptor engine, reusability is a critical factor. According to CEO Elon Musk, each engine must be capable of flying up to 1,000 times in order to support the company's ambitious Starship operations. This is no small feat. Historically, the most reused engines in space exploration were the main engines on each space shuttle, which flew only a few dozen times each. But with Raptor, SpaceX is poised to make history once again. While the company's existing Merlin engine is currently used on Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy rockets, Raptor is a significant improvement. One of its most impressive features is its double thrust, generating 380,000 pounds of thrust at sea level, thanks to much higher pressure compared to Merlin's 190,000 pounds. Despite being similar in size, Raptor's impressive capabilities are a testament to SpaceX's continued dedication to pushing the boundaries of space exploration. Another remarkable feature of SpaceX's Raptor engine is its use of methane as fuel, which sets it apart from traditional rocket engines. In fact, no other rocket has ever made it to orbit using methane as a power source until the recent test hop of the Star Hopper. This successful flight marks a significant milestone for SpaceX's innovative approach to rocket propulsion. One of the key benefits of using methane is that it prevents the buildup of deposits in the engine a process known as coking, which can cause significant damage over time. What makes the Raptor engine so special? SpaceX's Raptor engine also employs a unique technique known as a full-flow staged combustion engine. This method is only the third in history to use this approach, with the more common open cycle system being used by SpaceX's existing engine Merlin. The previous two attempts at full-flow staged combustion engines, one in the Soviet Union in the 1960s, and another in the US in the early 2000s were never able to make it beyond testing. At the heart of a full-flow staged combustion engine is the process of driving the engine with a pump, which utilizes a pre-burner to initiate the cycle by injecting a small amount of fuel. Unlike traditional open cycle engines that expand some of the propellants to initiate this process, Raptor's design uses every drop of propellant available, making it one of the most efficient rocket engines ever built. This means that the Raptor engine is able to extract the maximum amount of energy from its fuel, resulting in greater performance in a higher thrust-to-weight ratio. What makes full-flow stage combustion more efficient? The Raptor engine's use of subcooled liquid methane and oxygen in a full-flow stage combustion cycle is a revolutionary departure from the simpler open-cycle gas generator system and LOX kerosene propellants that the current Merlin engines use. This makes the Raptor one of the most advanced rocket engines ever built. Compared to other cryogenic rocket engines, the Raptor's use of deep cryogenic propellants cooled to near their freezing points offers several advantages. It increases propellant density, allowing for more propellant mass to be stored within the vehicle's tanks. It also increases engine performance by improving specific impulses and reducing the risk of cavitation at the inputs to the turbo pumps due to the higher propellant fuel mass flow rate per unit of power generated. 
According to Elon Musk, the oxidizer to fuel ratio of the engine is approximately 3.8 to 1. Elon Musk has set a high target performance for the Raptor engine, aiming for a vacuum specific impulse of 382S, a thrust of 3MN, a chamber pressure of 300 bar, and an expansion ratio of 150 for the vacuum optimized variant. Raptor engines use dual redundant spark plug lit torch igniters for engine ignition on the pad and in flight, eliminating the need for a dedicated consumable igniter fluid. The Raptor 2 engine features a new secret ignition method that is reportedly less complex, lighter, cheaper, and more reliable. Raptor engines are designed to provide long life and more benign turbine environments, achieved through a full flow stage combustion cycle that mixes all the oxygen to power the oxygen turbo pump and all the fuel to power the methane turbo pump. Before 2014, only two full flow stage combustion rocket engine designs had progressed far enough to be tested on test stands. The flight engine is designed with extreme reliability in mind, meaning the airline level safety required for point-to-point -point Earth transportation. To expedite the development and facilitate iterative testing, SpaceX employed 3D printing to manufacture numerous components of early Raptor prototypes, including turbo pumps and injectors. The subscale development engine of 2016 consisted of 40% 3D printed parts by mass, in 2019, SpaceX cast the engine manifolds from its propriety SX-300 Inconel Super Alloy, which were used on SpaceX's previous Merlin rocket engines that powered its Falcon family of launch vehicles. Methane is used in the Raptor engine instead of kerosene, which was common in previous rocket engines. Methane provides higher performance, allowing for a smaller rocket and lower launch costs. SpaceX plans to use a large number of Raptor engines, with six in each Starship vehicle and 35 on the Super Heavy rocket for a total of 41 engines per launch. This increase in engine production will be necessary to support the high number of planned launches for Starship and Super Heavy. The Raptor engine also utilizes 3D printing for the manufacture of many components, including turbo pumps and injectors, which allows for faster development and iterative testing. The engine uses coaxial swirl injectors as opposed to pintle injectors used in previous SpaceX rockets such as the Merlin engines. While the good news is, methane is a preferred fuel for the Raptor engine due to its higher performance and lower cost compared to other fuels like kerosene. The use of methane in Raptor engines is also beneficial for SpaceX's future plans for interplanetary travel such as to Mars. The hope is to mine water and carbon dioxide on the Martian or lunar surface for in-situ resource utilization or ISRU and extract methane for fuel. This would allow Starship to be almost self-sufficient in terms of fuel, making regular trips to and from Mars possible. According to industry analyst Caleb Williams, extracting methane from the Martian or lunar surface could be reasonably easy. This could be a major breakthrough for space exploration as it would eliminate the need to transport all propellants from Earth. The Raptor engine represents a major shift in SpaceX's ambitions from simple Earth-based launches to deep space exploration. The recent successful test of the Starhopper was a crucial step in the right direction. If Raptor even partially lives up to its promises, SpaceX's future could be very bright indeed. Raptor will have a huge part to play if SpaceX achieves its goal of reaching Mars. Well, if you're fascinated by space exploration and the technology that makes it possible, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications for more content like this. And who knows, maybe one day you'll be watching a live stream of the first human mission to Mars powered by the very same Raptor engines we talked about today. Until next time, keep exploring!